So, if you managed to follow the last tutorial correctly and you did the interactive learning of wrapping, you should now have this. When I go all the way to the left, I appear at the right. When I go all the way to the right, I appear at the left. And if you'll notice, I included some trial and error uh, towards that. Uh, if you did it on your own and you don't have the result that I'm having right now, it's because if you look at your player script, I originally had greater than and equal to 10, and then less than and equal to negative 10. So what this is doing when I left you off is that if it goes to 10, it appears to negative 10. But then when you rewrite it and you add the else if statement, if you say it goes to negative 10 and it goes to 10, it contradicts itself. Because if you look at the first one, if it's equal to 10, it goes to left. So to get rid of this, you just remove the equal signs. So if it's greater than 10 and less than negative 10, then it will work more fluently. All right, I was hoping you guys would be able to do that on your own, so I hope you did. If not, this is going to be your first, uh, you know, this will be your little uh, spoiler right here on how to make it work. But that should have been pretty easy to commonly, you know, co with common knowledge, should have been able to fix that. So, as you can see, I can pretty much, I can go all the way to the right, go all the way to the left. You can adjust your player's speed if you want. And so what's the next step? The next step would be being able to fire something and press the space bar to fire, right? So let's go ahead and type out what we want to do next and we'll figure out how what, what steps we need to take to make this happen. So just head back into your player script. And let's just make a note saying, um, let's see, what do we want to do? We want to press space bar to fire a laser. So how do we do this? So um, if the game object, right, so let's see, now if the game object, let's see what we have here. So if the game object, uh, if the game object, uh, I shouldn't say game out. If the yeah, if the player presses down the space bar, if the player presses down the space bar, a laser will shoot out. Let's try and put it more technical terms towards. So, if the player, so if the let's see, uh, what do we have? We got if the player pe presses down the space bar, a laser will shoot out. Okay, so just looking at this, if the player presses the down, if down, if the player presses down the space bar, a laser will shoot out. So, a laser will shoot out. Do we even have a laser in our game right now? So, obviously, we're gonna have to put a pause on this because we don't even have a laser. In order for a laser to shoot out, we have to have a laser. So let's go ahead and create the laser. So go ahead and just uh, go back to Unity, and let's go ahead and create a new game object. We want to make a laser for our ship to shoot. So let's go and create other, game object, create other, and let's use a capsule. So here's our capsule, and you know what, let's go ahead and size it down. You can click the size down tab over here on the top left, and that allows you to size it down. Give me a second here. Go ahead and position it to, position it to what your cube is at. So it should be negative three, and then just go ahead and size it down first. And actually, I'm having a problem finding my thing. Oh, I'm in my console. That's why. Oops. <laughs> okay. So you have your 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 uh your capsule there. Go ahead and rename that, by the way, to projectile, because it's going to project the laser. So projectile. And let's go ahead and let's go ahead and shape it down. And shape it. Um, okay, I'm going to use this. So right now, its its scale is about 0.13. We would we'll do 0.13. 0.13 and 0.13. So for x, y, and z, it's going to be 0 0.13. Okay, so we have our little pellet. Now let's go ahead and position. Now you know, let's go ahead and give our our pellet and our ship a uh, texture and like a, a material to, uh, material mesh. So a mesh is basically something that adds color to it. It gives them texture. So to do this, let's head over and give our 
uh, player first, our spaceship. Let's go ahead and make it a color. You can make it whatever color you want. Uh, to do this, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Component, you're going to go to Mesh, and then you're going to Mesh Render. I'm just kidding, you're not going to do that. Give me a second. Uh, let me see, Text Mesh? Is that right? No, that's not right either. Give me a second, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. Hold on. Let's look around. This is the part of learning Unity, guys. You just got to look around for it. So hold on. You got your player. Actually, it should be over here. Um, you have your mesh renderer, your player script, box collider, your mesh filter. I have forgotten how to give our players characters. You have to create a new material. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry, guys. Material. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your projects folder here and go ahead and create a new folder and call it material. I apologize for that. Go to material and inside material we're gonna create a new material. Okay, and what we're gonna name this is we're gonna name it lowercase m for material and then I'd usually do underscore and then the name of the material it's going to. So I'm gonna do m player. Alright, that's material for the player. Let's go ahead and open it. And over here to the right I'm gonna make it whatever color I want. You guys can do the same. Yeah, so make it whatever color you feel you want it to be. Um, I'm going to make mine yellow. And then you just go ahead and yellow. Okay, give me a second. Some reason it's not working. Okay, hold on. And then let's go ahead and just add the material to our player though. So here's the material. Oh, what's happening? Just like spasmed. Okay, there we go. So here's our box back here. And let's go ahead and get it to yellow. And for whatever reason, guys, that does not want to work right now. I'm not sure why. Oh, there we go, guys. I apologize. Make sure you click in the box here. Jeez. I'll have to edit this video out. So what you're going to do is you're going to do M player. That took off a lot of time. Edit it. Alright, so what you're going to do is once you have that in your cube is there, um, go ahead and you make that. And then for a capsule, I'm going to go ahead and create a new material. Go to create material. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to do M, and we're going to call this one Projectile. And you can make this again whatever color you want. I'm going to make mine green, though. And, yeah. Okay, so we have the material green. We're going to add the projectile to the projectile. And there you go. So now it's green and green there. And then on the view here, you can't really see because of the background. So what do we want to do? Let's change the main camera background. Let's go ahead and make it black. So you can actually see it better. And then you can't really see this, obviously. So it's a, so how do we make it lighter so we can see our stuff? Let's go ahead and rotate this. Oh no, we can touch that. 
Hit one. I oh, apologize. Okay, um, you need to add a directional light in order to have this lit up for us. So go to game objects and go to directional light. That's the size, I'm sorry guys, should have that. So let's go ahead and get some directional light over here. We're just going to make it parallel. So let's go ahead and rotate it. Okay, and there we are. All right, and I'm just going to move that all the way. Move that away. Over right here. Just out of this side. So there's our light. So now you can see we have our cube and we have our thing. So what do we want to do? We want to make it to where when I press spacebar, that thing will shoot out. So for starters, let's go and just position it to where it's at the same position as our cube. So we have position negative three. Probably be at negative two. Nope, negative three. Okay. And then our z is going to be negative one, I believe. Right? Player is negative one, yes. Okay, so it's the same position as that. We shouldn't be able to see it. It's inside the cube right now. So what do we do? We have this. So what's the next step? The next step is creating the projectile. We need to make it to where when we press spacebar, that projectile shoots out. So here's how we do that. Let's go ahead and create a new C sharp script. Because remember, we said in our player script here that we need a laser in order to have us press the spacebar. So we're creating the laser. So now let's go ahead and go to a script, create a new C sharp script, and just call I'm gonna call mine projectile. Okay, move it to C scripts folder. Okay, so we have our projectile. Let's go ahead and open that. So, similar to our spaceship, when we move the left arrow keys, it goes left and right, and we can control it. What if we, when we press spacebar, what do we want the laser to do? We want the laser to just shoot up and just shoot straight up, right? We just want it to go up. So, if we wanted to do this, let's type out what we want to do in the start method. Um, in the start method, actually, we're not going to use this much because it's a projectile. So this isn't really going to be that important. You can delete or you can keep it there. We're going to, what we're really going to want to do is we're going to want to go into the update method here. Okay, and what we want to do is when the projectile, when we hit spacebar, we want the projectile to go flying out. But the projectile itself needs an animation to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make, let's talk about what we're going to do. So we want make the laser shoot out and go up and go up. So how do we do this? We need to make the game object of the laser, right? So game object equals laser. We want to go up, shoot up. So how do we write this? So we know that the game object is a transform. Transform is a game object. So let's go ahead and try my transform. Oh, and actually, it's a private variable. So in order for us to use it, we have to uh, we have to recreate the cache or make the variable public. So let's go ahead and just recreate the cache real quick. All right, and if you remember how to do that, you're gonna make the uh, you're gonna make the public, you're gonna make it private, you're gonna make a private variable, private variable, transform dot uh, sorry, transform, transform, or transform my transform. That's gonna cache our transform method. And then we have to declare what my transform means. So my transform going to equal transform. Alright, so this will allow us to create game objects now. So what we're going to do is we're going to do my transform and then what do we want to do? We want to make it the laser shoot out and up. So we're going to do my transform um, okay so let's see what do we want to do? Make the laser shoot out and go up. We need we have the game object equals the laser and we want to shoot up. So we do my transform dot translate, because we're gonna make it move, right? So my transform dot translate. And then we have a vector three here. Vector three translation. So what are our options? Okay, so dot right and dot up. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. So we're going to do my transform.translate. 
And then we want to use a vector 3. Remember in our first tutorial, I talked about how you can make things go left and right, which is dot right, and then basically equivalent to the y-axis would be dot up. So if we just save this, watch what's going to happen. Watch our game. Did I... why isn't it working? Oh! Add your projectile script to your projectile. Okay, watch this. There you go. Did you see that? It's going very quickly, so when you... There you go. See, our bullet is shooting upwards. So, now we need to be able to control it, though, because if we just do that, it's just going to go upwards. And you also notice, look at our Y value. It's never ending, and so it's going to continue using resources, and it's just going to go up and up and up. It's never going to show back again. So, you have this. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and I'll continue in just a minute.